Mm. All right. Trying to see an easy way to crawl through here. If there's no water, I would just go straight here through the left. With all this water, guess I'm gonna have to go over here to the right. Oh man. Cool. I see a lot of cool little illusions, reflections, waves. But again, I don't see anything swimming around. Not even a cricket or nothing. Kind of disappointing, actually. I'm almost expecting to see a big cave monster in here. But, well, I guess that'd be scary, but still. You gotta maybe kind of cool. All right, here we go. So notice the water here is going to the left underneath that rock. See if I can go through here. I'm gonna take off my backpack so I don't accidentally put it down here on the left in the water. There's a lot of mud here to the right. So I have a choice of getting wet or muddy. Let's see if I can avoid both. How it gets bigger ahead. I've been this way a couple of times, but not enough to have it memorized. Ow! Just hit my shin. I have a bruise on my shin. And it's, uh, don't get me started. See if I can. It's downhill, so I'm trying to get my feet ahead of me so I don't fall head first. Of course, I don't want to fall at all, but you know, certain body parts are more important than others. All right, then. Cool. Notice there is water ahead. I don't know if you can hear it, but I know I can. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm back to the main stream passage. So that's the way I just climbed through. Not a dead end. I'm glad I went through there because I think. Okay. So, yeah, here I am back at the main stream passage. So, that's the easy way out if I'm feeling lazy. I haven't decided which way I'm going to go out. If I'm gonna finish a big circle counterclockwise or if I'll go back the way I came. What if I feel like it. As you can see, look at this. There's a lot of room in that upper level. I'm very sure I've been up there. I don't remember the easiest way up there. I'll keep my eyes open. Check it out. There's one way up there. I know I've been up there. I just can't remember the easiest way to get up there. One way would be to climb right here. I think that's a little too tall and difficult for me. I think there's another way around. Keep my eyes open. That's the thing. My I do have a two-dimensional map of this place. But it, a 3D maze like this, a two-dimensional map does not do it justice at all. So you still have to kind of, you know, Use your eyeballs and your brain and any other body parts that might come in handy. Right. So check this out. Between the rocks here, there's water, right? And there's water going down here. That's pretty much it. It like goes between the rocks and disappears. So this is where like most of the water flows. It just sort of disappears into the rocks. Hope you weren't expecting a huge waterfall or anything. But that's the way it goes. Notice how wide it is here. I can go left or right. For here, I'm gonna keep staying to the right. 
So I went left last time. I wanna scramble it up. I try to alternate. Wow, looks a little bit of work to crawl through here. This lower end of the cave is, well, the whole, there is no easy part of this cave. No matter where you want to go, you're going to find tight spots like this. If you do Masochist Maze, like the whole thing is like this. And if you go up the uh, stream passage, most of the passage is easy. But then if you do the big side passage or you try to get up to the upper entrance, a lot tighter. Definitely some tight spots. But if you can fit safely, it is worth it. It's a really cool cave. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> uh, here we go. It's funny, there's like a little tiny room here where I can stand up. Oh, check it out. Haha, <laughs> jackpot. So look at this. Dead end, right? Must be going the wrong way then. So this is the way I came down. This is the way I just crawled down. There we are. There's another way up. So let's do this, shall we? pad again I swear the more I adjust my knee pad the more it comes loose all right hang on a second what sucks my knee pad doesn't really have any traction I can't just crawl around on my knees only I have to use my feet or my hands because I can actually have some grip But imagine how hard it would be to navigate the roads if the roads didn't have any street signs. Wow, dang it. See, my flashlight sucks, just so you know. Oh, why is it pointing at me? I think we all know what I look like. Anyway, check it out. That's too tight, I'm not gonna tight go through there. But to the right here, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm standing up here. Check it out. Way too small for a person to fit up there. Although I think I know some people who would try. All right, and then finally, so this is a place you don't want to take your children because your children could go someplace you can't follow them. If you want to take your children anywhere, definitely make sure you can keep up with them. You don't want to go someplace where your kids can get away and then you can't help them. So I'm, this is like three feet tall or less here. I'm on my hands and knees, just barely. I hear water ahead. There's a reason for that. I think I know where I am. Uh, besides lost. <laughs> 